Hello guys, today I will be explaining, Deliver Us, a 2023 American religious horror film. In the opening scene of the film, a tense atmosphere envelopes a gathering of priests and priestesses as they huddle together in terror. Suddenly, an unidentified attacker mercilessly beheads them. After their chilling demise, their lifeless forms are undressed, uncovering enigmatic ancient scripts and symbols intricately carved onto their bare backs. The skin bearing these mysterious markings is then peeled away and presented to a nearby man. The next part of the story takes us to a convent in Russia, where a bunch of nuns are having their dinner. Some strange symbols are drawn on their backs, just like what happened to the priests. Then, their skin is taken off and given to a man nearby. In the same convent, there's a nun named Yulia who seems different from the others in the way she acts and thinks. That night, while Yulia is sleeping in her room, Strange and scary noises fill the convent. Suddenly, Yulia has a vivid dream where she sees a man with one eye wrapping a book with the skin of a priest. This dream shocks her awake, leaving her terrified. Shortly after, Yulia begins to feel intense pain in her stomach, causing her to rush to the bathroom where she vomits blood. After this scary episode, as she starts to calm down, the bathroom light begins to flicker, and suddenly, everything goes dark. Then, a light slowly brightens the room but unexpectedly, the window glass breaks, and her stomach pain returns. When she leaves the bathroom in agony, she's shocked to see tears flowing from the eyes of the Mother Mary statue. She also notices cuts on her palms and screams in terrible pain. The scene changes to St. Petersburg, where the bishop tells Father Fox that Yulia specifically requested his presence. However, he refuses the request, expressing his disbelief in exorcisms. He confesses that he wants to move forward in his life because he's in love with a woman, and he feels the child she's carrying deserves a true father. The bishop informs him that Yulia is pregnant with twins, and she claims it's a miraculous conception. She believes her unborn children speak to her, and she can discern one as good and the other as evil. The bishop urges him to investigate, mentioning that Cardinal Russo will oversee the process since he's an expert in ancient languages like him. Fox confides in his love, Laura about Yulia's situation, and despite his doubts, Laura insists that the woman needs assistance, encouraging Fox to take on the case. Initially disinterested, Fox's attitude shifts when Laura mentions her imminent work trip to Estonia, suggesting that he should consider this his final case. A few days later, Fox finds himself at the convent, where Sister Snyder introduces him to Cardinal Russo. It becomes apparent that Cardinal Russo holds Fox's expertise and work in high regard. The cardinal leads Fox to a statue of Mother Mary shedding tears, prompting Fox to examine the nearby water pipeline and propose condensation as a possible explanation for the phenomenon. Seeking further insights, Fox asks about any developments since the initial report. Cardinal Russo discloses that Yulia refuses to speak to anyone but him. In that moment, Father Saul appears, revealing himself as the one-eyed man from earlier scenes. Fox then encounters Yulia and probes why she specifically requested to speak with him. She discloses that her unborn children impart information to her that she wouldn't otherwise know, and they have informed her that he is the only one capable of preventing a looming catastrophe. Fox probes Yulia's belief about impending danger. She responds, attributing his presence to divine will, indicating their joint effort to thwart a plan they feel they understand better. An elderly nun then intervenes, guiding Yulia away from the conversation. Fox subsequently meets with the cardinal, who presents him with images featuring an ancient language and symbols. Recognizing it as cuneiform but unfamiliar with its specific context, the cardinal identifies it as a secretive language used by a select group of Zoroastrian priests. As Fox scrutinizes the images, he uncovers a passage prophesying the birth of twin boys, one good, one evil, and the impending conflict between them. Skeptical of such prophecies, Fox questions why Yulia hasn't been hospitalized given her history of mental illness. The cardinal elucidates that since childhood, Yulia has experienced incomprehensible visions dismissed as hallucinations, leading to medication and disbelief from others. However, the cardinal contends that these visions were divine revelations. While alone in her room, Yulia is seized by terror as she feels movement in her stomach. Suddenly, Father Saul enters, startling her. Only then do Fox and the cardinal hear her screams, and they witness Yulia being sedated. Later, as Fox heads towards his own room, he detects the sound of a door opening and someone moving behind him. Intrigued, he follows the noise and discovers footprints, leading him to Yulia, who is walking unclothed towards a pond. Rushing to stop her, he leaps into the water, but she inexplicably disappears. To his shock, 
he then encounters two newborn babies floating in the pond, only for Yulia's scream to awaken him from the dream. As Fox rises from his slumber, he notices a nun standing in a corner, facing the wall, startling him. Realizing she has sleepwalked into his room, he guides her back to her quarters, but as he leaves, he glimpses a silhouette at the window. Outside, Fox overhears the Cardinal and Father Saul discussing the notion of aborting Yulia due to her advanced pregnancy, contemplating the grim possibility of killing the infants after birth. Confronting the Cardinal, Fox questions if this is the purpose of his assignment, vehemently opposing such a plan even at the cost of his own damnation. The Cardinal justifies their actions as a duty to protect humanity, warning of the impending return of the Antichrist. Fox's resolve strengthens when he learns that Yulia desires to keep her children. Following Father Saul, he is horrified to witness a satanic ritual involving a group of individuals. Cornered by the cultists, Fox manages to escape and convinces the cardinal that they must flee the premises. At the railway station, Fox contacts Laura for assistance, and the cardinal purchases tickets to Kiev, though they board a train to Tallinn instead. Yulia begins to endure intense abdominal pain, eventually giving birth to both children with the aid of the cardinal. Fox witnesses the birth but succumbs to unconsciousness. After a while, an officer arrives to inspect their passports. He notices the two children, one serene and the other wailing. The sight triggers a severe headache in the officer, prompting him to turn and repeatedly bang his head against the window. Only then does Fox regain consciousness. Yulia assures him he'll be all right, mentioning she stitched him up while he slept. Fox observes both children survived, prompting Yulia to call it a miracle and reveal their names, Samuel and Jacob. Upon arriving at Tallinn Station, Fox spots the same officer from his dream. Meanwhile, Father Saul awaits them at the Kiev station. In Tallinn, Laura picks them up and takes them to her grandfather's house. She explains that her grandfather, though eccentric, left behind a spacious, well-equipped abode. Leading them to the basement, Laura reveals her grandfather's preparation for an apocalyptic scenario in his later years. The Cardinal takes notice of peculiar paintings in the basement, with Laura explaining her belief that her grandfather experienced visions of the end times, which he expressed through his art. Laura also cautions them about the possibility of lingering traps in the area. When the cardinal asks about her grandfather's demise, Laura solemnly discloses that it was unexpected, revealing that he took his own life by hanging in the house. Following their discussion, Laura leads Yulia to her room, where Yulia is overjoyed to find a crib prepared for her children. Later, Laura is seen discussing an outbreak with someone, emphasizing the need to investigate their involvement. After this, Fox expresses his gratitude to Laura and agrees with her suggestion to start a family in Canada, highlighting the peril of returning to St. Petersburg. Meanwhile, Yulia watches them from the window. As Laura leaves, Fox begins to feel dizzy due to the baby's cries and ultimately faints. Meanwhile, Father Saul rummages through Fox's belongings and finds photographs of Laura in one of his journals. The next evening, Yulia unwraps Fox's bandage to examine his wound, only to discover it has miraculously healed. In this moment, it becomes apparent that they are developing feelings for each other. However, their attention is diverted by a crying child, leading Yulia to remark that it seems as though the children are urging them to be together. Later, while retrieving something from the basement, Fox senses a presence behind him. As he turns, the lights abruptly extinguish, and whispers surround him. Moments later, the lights flicker back on. Meanwhile, Father Saul arrives at Laura's house in search of Fox, startling her maid Kataya. Later that night, Fox and Yulia share a dream where she places a ring on his finger, and they share an intimate moment. The next morning, Yulia informs Fox that the child communicates with them through dreams, likening their experiences to those of Mary and Joseph. She believes they are destined to be a family. However, their discussion is interrupted by Laura, who appears at the door covered in blood. She explains that someone at the factory attacked her, prompting her decision to book a flight to Canada for their safety. Laura holds one of the babies, connecting with them on a profound level. However, Laura's demeanor shifts drastically as soon as she sees the baby's face. Her smile fades, replaced by overwhelming emotion as tears stream down her cheeks. Yulia and Fox are taken aback by this unexpected reaction. Later, Laura and Fox return to her house. While Laura fetches clothes for Yulia, it's revealed that Father Saul has murdered Kataya and concealed her body there, unbeknownst to Laura. In her room, Laura senses Saul's presence and alerts Fox, expressing concern about someone lurking outside. Fox investigates but finds no one, leaving Laura to apologize, 
attributing his apprehension to paranoia. Meanwhile, the cardinal is tormented by voices urging him to kill the children, promising power and wealth. These demonic whispers intensify, accompanied by distressing visions. Attempting to calm himself, he drinks water, only to be terrified by a figure outside his window. Armed with a rifle, he ventures into the woods, where the voices persist. Confronted by a cryptic individual who taunts him with the phrase, you are what you serve, the cardinal is horrified to see his younger self, ensnared in a trap. As wolves encircle him, his younger self offers relief from pain in exchange for aiding in the child's demise. Defiant, the cardinal spurns the offer, prompting his younger self to depart, leaving him to face the savage wolves alone. Meanwhile, Laura and Fox arrive at her factory with the police. Concerned by the tense atmosphere, Fox urges Laura to leave. Despite his advice, Laura attempts to calm the crowd, only for the situation to escalate. As Fox tries to intervene, a woman from the crowd shoots Laura, causing chaos to erupt. As Laura draws her last breaths, she witnesses a boy emerging from the tumultuous crowd, approaching them. Has been nurturing good for God but causing harm to mankind, she informs him that the battle is not yet decided, and he alone can save humanity. To do so, he only has to eliminate the evil one and then take his own life. After leaving Laura's body at the hospital, Fox heads back to the cabin and encounters Yulia along the way. She shares her mission to find the cardinal, and he agrees to join forces with her. Together, they stumble upon the scene of wolves consuming the cardinal's remains. With caution, Fox retrieves a nearby rifle, scaring off the wolves, and carries the cardinal's body back to the cabin. They solemnly prepare a funeral pyre for him. Meanwhile, Father Saul, trailing Fox, sneaks into the cabin unnoticed. Inside, Father Saul discovers the children and hears a chilling command from a sinister voice. A demonic entity takes shape, instructing Father Saul to target one of the children. Yulia intervenes, but Father Saul overpowers her, causing her harm and rendering her unconscious. As Father Saul threatens the children, Fox intervenes, leading to a struggle between them. Despite Father Saul's insistence on harming the child, Fox manages to disable him by gouging out his remaining eye. Yulia shoots Father Saul, ending the danger, and he is killed in the altercation. Realizing they're in imminent danger from Vox Day, Yulia urges Fox to leave. In a moment of terror, she sees Laura's grandfather, though Fox cannot. Laura's grandfather gestures upwards, signaling for them to ascend to the attic. In the attic, they uncover a series of paintings, one of which Yulia believes depicts their escape from the convent. Another portrays Russo's demise, while a third features Laura and her child. Yulia then reveals a painting representing their shared dream. Upon seeing the paintings, Fox erupts into laughter, realizing he has squandered his life as the prophecy proves true. Yulia counters, stating that the battle's outcome remains undecided, as the devil is not warring against God but against them. Soon, Fox becomes plagued by bizarre visions, manipulated by the devil who takes on Laura's form, accusing him of neglecting her and choosing to nurture good for God while inflicting harm upon mankind. Laura's apparition emphasizes that Fox alone holds the power to save humanity by eliminating the evil one and then taking his own life. Suddenly, Yulia awakens to find Laura's grandfather beside her, urging her to flee. Fox, banging on the door, demands to know why it's locked. Yulia manages to escape just before Fox breaks through the door. Desperately seeking help, Yulia encounters two police officers, but they struggle to comprehend her amidst the children's cries. Fox arrives and violently dispatches one officer before turning on the other, causing him to drop his weapon. Yulia shoots Fox with the officer's gun, believing him dead, and begins reciting prayers for him. However, Fox miraculously revives, fulfilling the prophecy of the priest's demise and the father of the twins' resurrection. In the aftermath, Yulia asserts to Fox that they may never understand why, but love remains the only path forward.